Okay, now we're going to look at what happens when you when you rotate a, a solid uh, around an axis. And, and we're going to start off by rotating around the x-axis. So we're going to take this curve, y equals x squared from 1 to 2. And we're going to, let's make that a little bit even bigger. 1 to 2. And we're going to rotate that around the x-axis. So if you think about what's going to happen, well, we're going to get this reflection over on the x-axis. And we're going to get a three-dimensional shape. And what that shape is going to look like, it's kind of like a bugle or a horn or a trumpet end or something like that. So here's our x-axis. And we want to find what is this volume. It's totally filled in. So that volume, well, the idea here is we're going to take a little bit of a, a strip, a little dx, and when we rotate that little strip around the x-axis, and we kind of look at it top down, what we're going to get is a little disk, and this is called the disk method with an infinitely small width dx, and the, the radius of that disk is just the height of our function, so that's f of x. So our little bit of volume, dv, equals pi r squared, where r equals f of x, times dx. And this is going to be our, our equation for, for all of these disk methods. So to find the volume, just like we were doing in the cross sections, what we're going to do is we're going to add up from, from x equals 1 to 2, and that's given right here. We're going to add up all these little infinitely small disks. So we've got pi times f of x, which is x squared, dx. There is my volume. That is this volume right here. We just found it. We found the volume. Well, it's expressed as an integral. So now let's uh, let's actually get a number here. Uh, this equals pi x cubed over 3 from 1 to 2. And if we put some values in there, we have 8 pi over 3 minus pi over 3 which is 7 pi over 3. And that's the volume of, of the shape that I just, of the, of the uh, shape that was just created. Before we jump to, let's, let's go back a second. Before we jump to a little bit harder problem, let's do another example of that. So first of all, um, the disk method, if we have any function, from A to B. So here's some function. The idea is that we're rotating this whole shape around the x-axis. So if we take a little sliver and we rotate this around the x-axis, what we get, again, always is a disk with the radius f of x depth dx, and so the little volume will be pi r squared, where r is f of x, dx. So in every case, our volume will equal the integral from a to b of pi times f of x squared, dx. So if we do another example, let's think of some function um, y equals x cubed. And I want to integrate that from, let's say, from 0 to 2. So I want to take that area and rotate it around the x-axis. So again, all, for now, just always think about it. You're taking a little bit of a strip. That strip creates when you rotate around the x-axis, a circle with a little bit of 
depth dx or radius. So it's f of x, which is x cubed in this case. So our volume will be the integral from one to two. So I'm add or sorry from zero to two because I'm adding up all of those little strips of pi r squared. So that's the surface area. So pi x cubed is my radius squared times my little bit of width dx. Neat. Okay, what if I um, I'm looking at the volume of a solid of revolution obtained by rotating the first quadrant region R bounded by the curves y equals x squared, the lines x equals 1 and 2, and the line y equals negative 1. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking this region here and I'm rotating it around the y equals negative 1 axis. That's what I'm rotating it around. And the idea, what, <clears throat> what we need to recognize, so here's one and two, that when we rotate this little sliver, around, the, the radius of this, well, what I'm gonna create rather when I rotate this around is a disk that's hollow on the inside. So this is going to be one and that one is coming from this distance here that's one. And then this distance will be my f of x. So what I'm going to, the way that I'm going to, and then we've got our little bit of depth dx. So the way that we're going to think about this is that we're going to, we're going to think about finding the whole volume of this. And that whole volume uh, is going to be pi total radius squared, which is f of x plus 1 squared dx. And then I'm going to subtract away all that empty space, because this is just going to be a hole in there. So I'm going to subtract away what I'm going to subtract away is pi times the radius here, which is fixed, 1 squared dx. So this would give me the whole volume, and then I'm subtracting away that empty space. So the, my volume then is the integral from 1 to 2. And we can factor out a pi from both of these. So pi times f of x plus 1 squared minus 1 squared dx, where f of x equals x squared. So just writing this one more time, we get that the volume equals pi times the integral from 1 to 2 of x squared plus 1 squared minus 1 squared, which is just 1 dx. And I'll leave it just like that. Okay, so let's extend this even further. Let's think about the region bounded by the line x plus 2, and that's right here. And the parabola x squared. And we're going to 
find the volume if we rotate it around the x-axis. So, drawing this one more time. We're going to take this whole region and rotate it around the x axis. So what we need to do is first find the points of intersection because that's going to be our limits of integration. So we need to know when does x squared equal x plus 2. So we have x squared minus x minus 2. Factoring that, x minus 2 x plus 1 equals 0. So, so we just found our limits of integration. That's negative 1. And this is 2. And here's where we need to be really careful because uh, um, people make mistakes on this all the time. So careful, 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 careful. Here's where we're going to be careful. What we need to do is think about we're rotating. What we want to do is think about rotating this whole volume caused by the red. And then we're going to subtract away that missing volume from the blue. So our volume is going to be pi times r squared, the upper function, so x plus 2 squared, dx minus, and now we need to subtract away the volume that's going to be from that lower section. So the blue section is minus pi times x squared dx. So this is the this would be the total volume, and, and then we subtract away. Uh, we're subtracting away all this empty space there. That's what this is subtracting away. So our total volume. Uh, then we're going to integrate it. We integrate it from our points of intersection from negative one to two. We can factor out a pi. So we have x plus 2 squared minus x squared squared dx. Now the critical thing, and I said people will oftentimes make mistakes, um, you, it's not just top minus bottom and square that. It's the top squared minus the bottom squared top squared minus the bottom squared. It is not, it is not, it is not top minus bottom parentheses squared. Hope that that's clear. That's order of operations. So let's look at, um, well, we've already done some examples like this. I think, uh, I think we'll stop right there. We'll, we'll, we'll do one more problem and then we'll stop. Uh, and again, this, this topic today, we, we're getting into some hard things to visualize what's going on. Uh, but if you can really keep in mind that, um, you know, you're creating slices of bread and then you just need to think, think about what each of those slices of bread looks like, you will be all set. So we're doing bread slicing. So let's think about, um, let's go trig. Let's think about cosine x and sine of x. Let's do just a doozy of a problem to finish off. So there's cosine x. And here's sine of x. And what I want to do is I want to take this region here and rotate it around. y equals negative 2. So we're going to take this whole region and rotate it around y equals negative 2. So the important thing, uh, steps, let's find the limits of integration. So that's just the intersection. So we know that we're going to intersect here at, let's see, what is that, pi over 4? And here we're going to intersect at 
That's negative 3 pi over 4. And just to be crystal clear, or sort of clear, uh, cosine and sine equal each other here, and that's pi over 4. And they equal each other here. And typically, we think of this as 5 pi over 4. But since it's in the negative direction, we're thinking about going over 3 pi over 4 in the negative direction for them to equal each other. So here are my limits of integration. And then we just need to think about, well, what's actually happening? Well, you know, if we, if we make a vertical cut, and we're going to be rotating this whole thing around the line y equals negative 2. So from the, from the blue, from my top function cosine, we're getting a little bit of volume is going to equal pi times r squared, where r is cosine of x plus 2. And we're adding 2 because this would be the value of cosine of x, and then we need to add this whole distance here, which is the additional 2 from rotating around the y equals 2, negative 2 axis, squared dx. So that's the volume if I were to rotate cosine of x around the y equals negative 2 axis. But then I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract away the volume of rotating sine of x. So then I'm going to, let's make that, so then I'm going to subtract away this volume. So again, the cosine of x creates this volume. So making that radius of, of our cylindrical disk. Uh, and then each time I'm going to be subtracting away the disk from sine. So the black disk is the cosine, and then the yellow disk is what we're subtracting away. So that yellow disk, the volume of that, is pi times sine of x plus 2 squared dx. So this is the expression for my volume. So or for a little chunk of volume. So my volume equals the integral from my first point of intersection to my second. So from negative 3 pi over 4 to pi over 4. Pull out a pi. And then we have cosine of x plus 2 squared minus sine of x plus 2 squared dx. And this, I would never ask you to integrate um, by hand, really. Uh, but, but setting up this integral takes significant understanding of uh, the idea of our, of our disk method and by subtracting away empty volume. So we're going to spend a couple days on this topic let it settle, maybe watch this again, and uh, good luck processing all of this.